Hello, I'm Peter Salam from PS Media, and in this video, I'll go through a walk through with you along with you. But in the theme options of Click Mag, uh, Magazine WordPress theme, then let's go to Click Mag options. I have already installed here. Let's check out it first. I have already installed and activated Click Mag theme here. Yeah. I assume you, you also have already installed and activated it or uh, even if you are trying to buy the theme and you are checking this video to know the features just let's go through the click options here the, this um, we have logo location options small in small locations here let's check out in the front end If you choose uh, small in the logo location, the logo will be shown here. And if you choose large, let's check it out. Several changes. Click to refresh. Yeah, logo will be shown here. And it's your choice. If you want to uh, align the logo on the left side or in the uh, at the center. This is your choice. For me, I will assign the logo on the left side. Simple changes. Yeah. Here you. This uh, if you. Uh, this is for the large logo, and this is for the small logo. Yeah. This is for this one, and this one is for the logo at the center okay and let's go to colors primary theme color this is for primary theme color this is red and top navigation background color navigation background color let's check it out navigation background color we can see and see to let's say light green let's say several changes click refresh yeah it's like this you can change the background color to whatever color you want and main headline link color okay headline link color and let's give this it Orange. Like orange. Yeah, it's okay. Now yeah, primary link color. Blue is okay. It's fine. Link hover color red. Okay, save also this. Refresh. Yeah. Line color is now orange and hover at hover it becomes red. Okay, no, it's fine. For the color, and let's go to fonts. For general content, it is just Meriwether, and this is Meriwether font, and it's okay. I like it. And for the flyout menu font, for this flyout font menu font, it is just work sans. You can see and see it, and maybe. But I knew I will keep the default fonts. I don't want to change it because I will uh, show you in the next video tutorial because I will use a PS builder called Elementor. So in the Elementor, I can change the fonts for my content. So I don't need to change here. Home page setting. Yeah. And this is for home showing blog post on the home page. This setting. Let me show you. Let's go to pages. Yeah, let's get a new one. A new home. 
and you you assign form in the, the template form publish okay now let's go to setting and reading okay setting page turn page form sample changes and now let's Uh, this is yes this is for the home base it's like this you can as uh, make changes here through this options if you say user to save all changes yeah like this and picture post there is like I don't have any picture post for now and picture post text is on it's picture fine row column home page block layout if I want to show the blocks in a row in a single row or column in row format or in columns I want in the column format column Number post then fine. Several so changes. Now click refresh. Now it's in the color column format. If I let's add some few more posts. My WP team customization. Customization. This is my click. Click to customization video tutorial. Okay. Teams click progress. Let's check out the front end. Yeah, it is shown in the column format. Now, now popular post setting. Number of popular posts. Okay, stand fine. Leave it. I don't want to sense it. Article setting. Default pro post template. Template one or template two. Okay, let's give it a default template one. So feature image in post, yeah, take so social um, sharing buttons. Okay, yeah. Let's go to front end. Yeah, social sharing buttons. Uh, I like it. Leave it. So other info. I don't want to show the sort of info. This is my personal blog, so I, I don't have other author, so I don't I don't need to show the author info. So author email. I don't need so other related posts. Ah, fine, good, it's good. Uh, So previous next post links. Okay, good. Use continue reading button on mobile. Yeah, good. Keep it. Okay, save all changes. Now let's go to category pages options. And this is for showing blog posts in the archive, archive blog layout. Yes, I want to show the blog post in a default row format okay let's leave it for it social media yeah uh, enter your facebook url tutorial pinterest url, pinterest URL. Uh, for this and for this okay 
fill out and click share all changes i have already filled out okay add management this is for uh, header add code footer uh, leather boy add code if you want to show add change or any other add you can place the code here wallpaper add image you have real wallpaper add click through your app okay it, uh, there are lots of advertising options here footer info here yeah. i've already changed the default footer info i change this to copyright on the band wp team all rights are reserved preserved by press media okay change this the text here and click several changes yeah uh, i guess this is uh, this is all that's all for the click make options in my next video i will show you the um, pause and paste options thanks for watching